How y'all doing again? This summer, again, I usually do my um, usual assortment of random miniatures I like to collect and um, paint up for the summer. And now I'm going to show them off. Most of these are from Reaper, but there's a couple of them from different um, different uh, companies, and I'll explain that a little bit. I'll link down below for if you want to purchase them yourself. Now let's start with the first one here. Um, typical. This is from the Pathfinder series by Reaper Miniatures, a Syrian living monolith, kind of a golem-like creature. Uh, kind of sort of Egyptian motif there. <clears throat> you know, has a um, you know a collar on his head there. I usually put some green gems onto that. Um, typical Egyptian type of skirt, big scimitar. I thought it was very neat. Got him a good price. The next one again from the Pathfinder series, again from Reaper. I'm messing up this name, but Packmaster of Kotepish, sort of a um, priest-like um, um, figure. Not sure anything about them, but um, I just thought it looked neat, so I decided to, um, you know, um, collect them, paint them up. This is the first time I ever tried to do this type of blending from a light blue to a dark blue. And you know, I've, one of the things I've learned is that if you paint this one color and paint this another, keep a little space in between. And then while this, while the borders here and here are a little bit wet, you take some water and then um, blend it in so you have that sort of gradual um, transition. Then I use a little shading and highlights. And I definitely like what I did with the, um, the mask. Kind of give it sort of a um, polished, almost gem-like quality towards it. You know, just paint a dark green and do successive highlights. Um, then I just painted runes here and there to give it a little flair. So yeah, there's that. I like this one. Now this one, going away from Reaper for a minute, this is from Perth Pewter. Picked this up at the Renaissance Fair here at Norman Perth Pewter is a miniature company that makes mostly um, more decorative pieces, you know, just you know, unpainted miniatures. They put a finish on it and look like they're patina silver. But this one didn't have a finish on it, so I bought him. It's a Greek, so it's the Greek um, soldier Achilles, that's what this is called. You know, I definitely like what it did in the shield here. And uh, yeah, I just never had a Greek miniature type before, so and you know I have I have my love of Greek mythology, Clash of Titans, and all that stuff. So yeah, I decided to get him. Just saying, why not? So there you go. This next one here is um, from Dark Sword Miniatures. It's the biggest one I have this summer. It's a Sea Titan. Now, when you get this miniature, just bear in mind that the horns on its head are not like this. They're, you know, they go up and around in a curve, very similar to Darkness from the movie Legend, you know, played by Tim Curry. I decided it was a bit too much, so what I did is I cut them down, and then I put some green putty on to shape it more to my liking. It's not perfect, but I, I, I'm, I'm happy with it. And, um, you know, it comes with a trident, and you also want to be careful with this trident. This is very, very bendable, you know. You know, be careful how you store it. Um, I painted it green, you know, put over green wash and then highlighted the entire body. And then used blues paints and washes um, to get here. The spotted design, I was inspired by the, um, oh, is a certain type of octopus. It's a very poisonous from Southeast Asia. The blue ring octopus, very tiny thing. But it's known for having these, um, 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 dark spots with these blue circles in it, and I was just, that inspired me to paint it along its back as such. And the base itself, you know, all I did was just put some um, nightshade wash on a white. Um, after it was painted white, I just put some wash on it, no paints at all. So except for the very bottom, which I painted black. Very nice looking miniature. Again, this is from Dark Sword. Um, the, you know, these two are from Reaper, that's from Perth Pewter. Now this next set is from the series called Numenera. These are done by Reaper Miniatures, but they are licensed by um, Monty Cook Games to make miniatures of their new role-playing game of, of the Numenera line. I have four of them here, let's start with this one. Now this one right here, okay, I'm sorry if the quality here is not perfect here. I'll show you, I'll have a slideshow here in a bit that will give you better quality pictures of what they do, look like detail. This is one of the characters um, that they have in one of the book. All these ones that I have here are in the main rule book, and they made miniatures directly from them. This one, it ha you know, I think is a combination of uh, both um, flesh and metal. Her arms are of a metal, so is her eye. 
and one of the things in Numenera just takes place in the distant future so things like um, flesh and, um, and metals you could be kind of with cybernetic or just nano machines could be inhabited of you and do this thing so that's one of the concept characters that they can have in there the other one is an Aeon Priest in the game of Numenera you have a society of these priests even though the, you know that um as close as thing to a uh, religion of science even though they don't they're they only accepted the concept of priesthood the amber papacy because that's how people look at it they just went along with it just so they can gain support of people but he's one of those that goes out and looks for the old ancient technologies and see if they could benefit mankind with them so yeah thought that was a neat miniature this one here, you can find him on the back cover of the main rule book. It's a nano. In the Numenera game, you have your, one of your characters is um, are those who can shoot your psychic powers or shoot um, um, abilities that have you know from nano machines or what have you, and they're called nanos. You know, based on like nano machines and all that. But he's the closest thing to a wizard you play in this game. But again, I liked him, so I picked him up, painted him pretty much close to as I can to the paintings that it was based off of, as all of them. Now this one, kind of the funkiest one I ever did, is a Vargellum, one of the visitants of the of the ninth world in Numenera. Sort of an alien race that moved into Earth and after all the centuries or even millennia or even millions of years ago, they, you know, just become part of it. They don't go back home. As far as I know, Earth is home. So this one I couldn't quite match the original color of the book, but I just did what I can. So there you go. That's my entire collection this summer. Um, again, I will link down below. I hope you all enjoyed this, and you try have a nice evening or day, whatever time it is you watch this. Thank you.